ta 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 Welcome back to Final Fantasy February and we're gonna do something that is probably long overdue and haven't done in haven't done on the channel. Uh because we talked about the games. I did a ranking, I did a playthrough of Final Fantasy 1, shown in parts. Or parts of that anyway. But we uh and then we called up the wrong Excel file. We haven't actually shown off the meager collection, apparently, which we have of uh, Final Fantasy games. So, let's get to it here in Final Fantasy February. Starting off with, and I wasn't aware that I actually had this, uh, because I don't normally buy loose cards. But, uh, yeah, we do have the original Final Fantasy here. You can see the cool artwork there. With, uh, I presume that's Garland on the front. By Square, uh, back before the merger. You can see the back there, nothing there, and it's just a white cart. Uh, but uh, yeah, classic Square here, Final Fantasy, uh, the original. And again, everyone knows the story. It was the last game they were going to make until this became a huge hit. Uh, despite the video I watched last night saying it was programmed on duct tape, uh, that was a dude showing a full playthrough using only the white mage. And not four white mages, one white mage. So he intentionally killed the rest of his party. And then just leveled that up to max. And uh, didn't even get the, uh, whatchamacallit. Didn't even change it to the upgrade wizard. So, yeah. That was insane. Anyway, I didn't actually play this. But, unbeknownst to me, uh, I was at Funko Land in San Jose. San Jose? No, give me Santa Cruz, because my grandfather and I had gone up for a train thing, and there was also some sort of boardwalk thing. It that was an amazing uh, one-day trip, but there was also a Funko Land. At least I think that was during the same trip, unbeknownst to me. And uh, I had actually picked up Final Fantasy again, a loose cart, but. Uh, for the Nintendo so you know um, I guess it comes full circle kind of uh, of course I did play that on the NES Classic and I also played it for the PlayStation 1 which we'll talk about a little bit later well, maybe we should talk about it now because uh, Final Fantasy Origins came out on the PS1 and I was super hyped for that to play the original finally uh, and it also had two on the disc which I don't have in any other form. Well, okay, but uh, not the NES or Famicom versions anyway. Uh, so yeah, we did not play that, uh, but we were going to, and that would have been hella fun. But uh, yeah, here, that's also a great game. And of course, it's classic, classic Final Fantasy, the original trilogy for the uh, Famicom slash NES here. Uh, what we did get, though, because it was not released in any other form uh, at the time. So when I got here, I did pick up Final Fantasy 3 here, and this should be complete in box. Uh, you can see the artwork on the front. There's the artwork on the back, and looking pretty cool. And, of course, Final Fantasy 3 there, uh, family computer. And, you know, I still don't know what the uh, FF means, but I guess those are proper cards. I have no idea. And it also says on this flap, uh, well, the company address in Tokyo. But uh, this was 8,400 yen at the time. And, you know, people are complaining about games being expensive now. But, hey, role-playing games back in the day were just as, if not more, expensive. So, a uh, little bit of yellowing on the plastic there. There's also a little baggie, and wow, this thing looks mint. There's the cart there, and it just says backup uh, cassette needs to eat. So yeah, it's got a battery in it, which uh, probably needs to be changed out, if I'm being honest. But uh, And then, ooh, pretty hefty manual there. So that's pretty cool. Can show the back of that. Uh... That should be the story. There's the controls. And uh, it's actually not black and white. It's sort of Game Boy toned here. Uh, how to play continues on for a long time. 
uh, shows off the menu screen. I think I've seen bigger manuals for uh, Famicom games here, but uh, wait, what was that? Something needs to be day. Oh, about the villages and towns and stuff. So you got different sorts of castles or layouts, apparently. Uh, so yeah, it'll be fun to uh, get around to this eventually. My backlog is just massive. Oh, hey! Some bonus stuff tucked in the middle. Uh, memory back up about the battery inside, I guess. A warning? Uh, not to use games with projection televisions and then uh, to use the AC adapter properly and okay that's weird but I guess uh, better safe than sorry am I right uh, those are okay I th it looks like the spells for, uh, there's the black mage and there's the white mage. It looks like they list them similarly in levels to the first game. I don't know if you have to buy them like you did in the first game. But, uh, wow. So, this is page 38 currently. This is hefty. There's a warrior, monk, uh, again, the white mage and some of the characters there. Black mage, red mage, whatever that thing is. Knight, there's the thief. Oh. So, I mean, they keep talking about uh, Final Fantasy V introducing the job system, but uh, when you have different characters doing the roles already, you know, it's... I mean, it's a great idea being able to do different things with different characters and customizing it yourself. But, you know, back in the day, it wasn't really that necessary. So, uh, that looks like it's Final Fantasy 3. And then uh, I did, I guess, make the mistake, if you would call it that, of buying the remake on the 3DS. Uh, did not get into it at all, especially not on the small screen. Uh, there's the back. And, uh, yeah, I didn't finish it, so, with the cart and the manual, I'm just going to briefly go through this, I guess. Uh, I mean, at least it's in English, so that was a plus, but, uh, yeah, you got your characters here. And, uh, I guess everybody has names. I don't know if they have names in the, uh, original, so we got to check that out. Controls on the, the, uh, dual screen there. So, I mean, the, and this is also a hefty manual. But, uh, of course, it's going to have a graphic upgrade. Again, I would have preferred the 16-bit upgrade that uh, 1 and 2 got. Well, I guess it would be 32-bit when they ported it to the PlayStation. But it uh, tells you how to battle and items and all of that. And, yeah, they looked uh, super deformed. And there's the job list again. Freelancer. Oh, I guess. Okay, that's what they were missing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the manual looks better. And the drawings look better, but they do look uh, a lot more chibi. Uh, I guess better for the DS art style at the time. Dragoon, okay. Evoker, Bard. <laughs> Bards. Shout out to my uh, D&D people here. But uh, Magus, Devout. Yeah, see, so, like, you know, I have no idea what exactly is going on there. Uh, wireless communications. Uh, again, if you're playing a single-player RPG... I don't see the need for that, but choose your jobs wisely in some notes. That's got to be a frit there. Boom. Well, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I just really didn't get into it. I would rather play the original or um, spruced up remake that looks something like this. Boom. Final Fantasy V. And another one that uh, was originally only released here in Japan. So that's why I bought this. Nothing really on the sides. Just that one. And then the back. So yeah, this introduced the job system that everybody raves about, and uh, I haven't played it in full. Oh, actually, I haven't played it at all. Whoa! Now this is interesting. Can show see the cart there? Uh, this it does this fold out into a poster? Because it looks like it folds out into a poster, but no, it's just a very 
funky, stylized, uh, manual here, I'm trying to find the words as I've struggled with the opening of this insane thing. Okay, so boom, it actually has the world map, that's pretty cool. It's got all the jobs on the back, that's also pretty cool. And is there anything else of note I can say here? Uh, ability. So I guess it, as you get to each level of each job, it lists the different abilities you have or the upgraded abilities. There's also sing and magic and stuff like that. So yeah, wow, this is... I guess more of a poster than a manual, but uh, that's pretty cool. And was totally surprised to see that. But uh, yeah, so I mean, I will eventually get around to playing these. Knock on wood. Get back in your box. Are you too good for your box? But uh, yeah, no, I. What was it? Final Fantasy IV. My friend brought it over in high school. It looked alright. I wasn't that interested in it uh, again I did play that because I got the Final Fantasy Chronicles where it was Final Fantasy 4 and Chrono Trigger at the same time or on the same uh, PlayStation bundle there uh, which is strange because here you get Final Fantasy Collection which is 4, 5 and 6 all together uh, you can take a look at this massive OB here and blank on the other side. But uh, yeah, if we open this up, and this beautiful package here, yeah, Final Fantasy Collection, and it's a fold out. So we got Fours Disc 1, EGADS. We got a flying Final Fantasy 6 disc here. Okay. With the uh, Terra on the cover, some fantastic artwork. If I can get the discs straight, so I can show you here. But uh, so yeah, this was the Final Fantasy collection for the PlayStation One in Japan. As you can see, it's got four, five, and six. And uh, apparently, the Super Nintendo version was easy mode, but the Japanese version was difficult mode on four. But uh, on the PlayStation, you had the option to play the original, or did it just give you the hard one straight up? But uh, yeah, I played that when I did it. And of course, you know, with any JRPG, you just grind a bit more and, and it's fine. Uh, it's got the collection there, memory card blocks. This is beautiful. Uh, prologue and then Dark Knight there. It'll go through the story of each of them in turn. I would assume controls just uh, skip 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 since there's a lot of stuff to cover magic and items I mean standard Final Fantasy fair can't complain about any of that can we standard yeah not not the modern stuff that uh, we talk about so there's Cecil and Kane and Cecil Paladin okay so I mean, this is years after the fact, so it wouldn't be spoiling anything, I suppose. If you're picking it up, uh, you're probably a fan and have played it before. Magic Guide. I just look at that list of spells. It's wild. Anything else here? Okay, and then we jump into Final Fantasy V. Again, more fantastic artwork in the booklet. Uh, controls, yada yada menu I mean this should go through all the job stuff again which we just saw how to save status of ailments and whatnot and then jobs yep so like, you can see the screenshot there of all the jobs jabs uh, and ability lists again all on that poster but uh, oof yep two pages of that and and the magic and songs and stuff and then finally Final Fantasy 6 now I played this as 3 
And I have a sucky story to tell me about that. I tell you about that because my friend was moving out and he offered to sell me some of his games, which included Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 3. But at the time, I had either heard the rumor or I was expecting them to release, or I wanted a Final Fantasy 6 version of the game, not Final Fantasy 3, because I wanted the proper naming. So I did not actually buy that one. I did buy Chrono Trigger. But, uh, yeah, I played that game, and then uh, he also criticized me for not waiting for Shadow, so I, I reset and did that part again so I could get Shadow back. Uh, there's some there's some characters, awesome stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, recruiting Shadow, I didn't think it was that difficult. Apparently it was, but uh, you do have to wait for him before the end of the world. Uh... And then, yeah, you basically uh, go through and recollect everyone. So uh, there, that story was great. And if that story had not been as good as it was, I don't think Final Fantasy VII would have had the impact that it did. Kind of like uh, if you're a Garth Brooks guy, you've got No Fences and Rope in the Wind. And Rope in the Wind took the world by storm because No Fences before it was so good. But, uh, yeah, so I kind of think... Uh, Final Fantasy VI, definitely the best of the classic games. And, uh, yeah, just a fantastic play. So, yeah, you've got options if you want to play these games. Uh, is that how it was? And speaking of options, we've got one more way here. And the most recent. Uh, probably not. If you like the classic pixel art not the best way to play it in my opinion but it's certainly the most accessible we've got Final Fantasy 1 to 6 collection the pixel remaster here on the switch and digital only for now on the PS4 although I would assume limited run or somebody would have made a physical version at some point uh, this is the one with uh, better artwork inside it's actually sealed so I can't show that off but it's got all six games in one location and all the languages so when I do decide to actually play two and five uh, and six again and who knows if I play four again oh and three a proper version of three then we'll be opening this up and checking it out so that is my kind of small final I did have five and six anthology on the PS1 also but uh, did not play five or haven't played it yet but uh, yeah so that's my small Final Fantasy 1 to 6 collection again I played a good number of games they're fantastic let me know in the comments which classic Final Fantasy you like and until next time keep dancing